Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Friday, last day of June. I think it's the 29th. Uh, that's what uh, the charts say, so that's what it is. Anyway, month end, last day of month end flows. Be aware, uh, we saw some dollar sales yesterday, as I'm sure you all did as well. Um, should be a little bit more of that today. So uh, let's keep that in mind. What else is going on? Obviously, uh, President Trump is going to make some statement about China today. A lot of people are waiting for that. Also, Powell speaks, uh, so heads up on that. Um, when does Powell speak? 5 p.m. What a dick. 5 p.m. on a Friday. Anyway, Powell speaks on Friday. CAD GDP today. Um, some rubbish uh, releases out of Europe that are going to be meaningless. CPI, nobody cares. Uh, so let's have a look at the charts here. Talked about a couple of things yesterday. Core long euro. <clears throat> here we are up here at uh, one ten ninety nine. It was a bit of a mess there in uh, in the thirties between thirty and forty. There was a bit of a iceberg seller 11040 for a good amount of time so we were 3040 for a while but once we cleared 40 um, euro has been set free we can we think this is going to continue so you want to buy euros on the dip dollars are calling the turn yesterday it's going to be tricky today with euro so bid but we do like to be continued core long dollars are uh, any third grader can see the pattern here. This is a neckline. Um, I don't know, horizontal line. This is now your neckline, shoulder, head, sort of like shoulder. Anyway, the pros are going to come in through 53 today, so be aware of that. Um, since most of you are not pros and I'm an ex-pro uh, we do whatever the hell we want but um, 1753 let's watch that uh, and to add to your core long in uh, dollars are for those of you who have been around in the market for more than five minutes you recognize that euro czar has been the big winner here euro dollar longs uh, and dollars are longs so if you pull up the euro is our chart, you see a big green bar yesterday running into some resistance here. Doesn't really tell us too, too much. Um, but euro czar looks like it's it's bid. No idea why. Just could be because euro dollars bid and dollars are bid. Anyway, um, a lot of chatter about Aussie with this China news coming up don't think we're going to visit this 6682 point but we might that's the thing we might visit this because it is month end and there is bullshit flows and the market is short um, it's short from last night when the news came out about this press conference so be flexible here it's weird that it's at 6650 now right should be lower but it's not so be real careful with your Aussie shorts uh, I think we should wait for after month end um, and then uh, we'll see I mean what if Trumpy says like basically nothing and just eats his words and what if his advisors come up to him and say listen dude if you thrash China on some press conference your precious stock market's gonna get smashed um, and then he'll just be like shit wish I had a Big Mac or whatever whatever he says um, anyway 6682 is a very important point I do like short Aussie I do like short Aussie yen but we're just being patient uh, dollar CAD same type of deal you want to sell this on rallies we are not getting many rallies here there should be some more selling um, month end here today so of course short dollar CAD uh, if you feel like it Let's go to some of the Euro crosses, which were uh, total pains in the asses 
yesterday. I don't know why my screen is freezing like this. Um, anyway, we can talk about it before we see it. Euro yen, um, total pain in the ass, up to 119.39, but then just could not, could not hold. If you think about um, one of the numbers, moving averages that we like to watch quite closely, the 200 day is 119.24. Um, this is a pretty good failure here. I'm not sure what to do with it. I'm just mentioning it. If you are long, <clears throat> uh, be careful. That's a pretty strong failure. Obviously, the reason it's lower is dollar yen is getting slapped this morning. We don't trade dollar yen anymore. It's just dead. Uh, looks like it's moved a lot, but it really hasn't. We've been basically 107, 108 for the entire month of May. So no point in really trading it. Um, but the reason euro yen failed is dollar yen took a little bit of a took a little bit of a dip. What else is out there? Let's look at ES. Tricky. Um, finally through 28 at the close, the last 10 minutes, and then we traded down to 11 overnight. But guess what? 30, 39 the high. Um, really tricky to be short this. Uh, this was this red bar was just basically the news. Uh, we played a little bit on the short side. We happened to be at our desk last night. Um, probably not in the best shape for trading, so we were keeping it light. But um, you know, you want to be short this stuff, but it's not going down very well. So it's more like a range. Twenty nine seventy five is your sort of lower bound, and I don't know, 30.75 is your upper bound. So effectively at 30.30, kind of want to do nothing. Or if you're really conviction short, you got to leave a stop above 65. So make sure you, you gauge your risk reward, right? Are you gonna, do you really want to leave 36 handle stop? Um, I don't know. Tactically, we're leaving this alone. Uh, trend book is square. We will get short on a daily close below 29.75. Sterling, it should be more buying today. It makes no sense, I know, but it's month end flows. It's euro dragging it. Um, market's quite short, Sterling. You know, it's been like quietly as usual, just a bucket load. Um, of bad news uh, from that poorly run country. 12360 is important. Are we going to get through that? Yeah, probably. Um, again, it's flow driven day today. The charts aren't as useful. Month end flows are going to dominate, and also people are just going to wait for Trumpy. So uh, keep it light in Europe this morning, and um, you know, don't overcommit because people are in, in waiting mode. Finally, gold. I guess this is uh, June gold. This gap has to be changed from May to June gold. I don't know. Uh, up to 44. Now here we are at 34. We like owning gold. We don't own it. Can't figure out how to buy it safely or where to buy it. Um, but it looks like the puke, the downside puke is over. And this 1684 is going to hold. We still aren't sure where to buy it. We're more comfortable buying it up here at 1776. Um, but also now this lends itself. 1680 now is a break trade on the downside, just a tactical break trade. There will be a cacophony of uh, stops down there. so. Just put it, out, put it on your pad, put it in your book for a rainy day. Um, 1680, worth watching. So is 1776. Yanks will love that number, right? Finally, crude. It's pretty impossible to trade. I don't know why I even bother looking at it. Um, we were on our knees there a day ago. Then all of a sudden, we're 3418. Um, no idea. Want to sell crude, but 
I honestly have no idea, so uh, good luck with that. Um, I'd rather chew glass than trade crude. Anyway, I've said enough. Um, good luck today. Got Trumpy out later. Uh, eyes on the news feeds. And uh, enjoy your weekend after month end. I will catch you guys Monday. Ciao.